beer kit review time. Um, I'm quite excited by this one, I have to admit. It's on from the Munson's range, um, and it's a Woodford kit. And I started brewing when I first started with a Woodford's Wherry. So I'm super excited to be giving this a go. Um, I'll show you what you get in the kit. It's very simple. You get two tins of your malt extract, packet of yeast, and you get two packets of hops for dry hopping. We've got Amarillo's 10 gram and Cascade uh, 10 grams. Um, and the instructions, all you need are on the side of the box here. Um, four simple steps, quite easy. Um, I will do a little bit of filming. I might not kind of talk all the way through it. I might just put some annotations down the bottom. It is a simple case of getting them tins nice and warm to the malt extracts, kind of you know easier to get out of the tin. That goes into your fermenter, bit of hot water, rinse them out, topping the fermenter up with the, the cold water to bring it up to the required level, adding the yeast, fermenting it out, adding the dry hops after the initial fermentation has died down, and then transferring it to bottle or keg or however you want to serve it, and as simple as that. I tend to leave mine in the fermenter from about two to three weeks depending, just to make sure it's had a, a good time to clear out and do its thing. Um, I'm really looking forward to this, it's going to be a nice percent, 4.3 percent, so a nice kind of session ale, nice kind of picture there of a, a golden ale. Um, and it's nice to see another kit adding the, the dry hops in, into it, so I'm, I'm quite pleased to see that. Um, I should think it would be quite good, I think that the, the Woodford's kits and the Miners for it, they, they're doing something to the kits now that the, the malt extract isn't tasting like it did in some of the earlier kits when I first started making kits. Um, and with the inclusion of dry hops, I think that they're, they're well aware that adding that helps kind of mask that, that taste that you can sometimes get and then produces a cracking beer. So I can't wait. If it's anything to go by like the, the Christmas brew that I had just gone, that was fantastic. And that didn't have any extra hops. It was just the tins and it was it was perfect. So I'm really excited by this. I, I can't wait for it to be ready because the, the, the wherry holds good memories for me of um, I did tweak it a bit. I was tempted to kind of tweak this, bring the water down a little bit um, to get the ABV up, but I think for the purposes of the review, I'm going to do it exactly as it says to do it, um, just to see what it's like. And then, you know, if I'm tempted to get the kit again, because, you know, I've, I've gone down that road with the, the Kutch, which was fantastic, I would buy another one tomorrow. It's, it's that good of a kit, so, I, you know, I can't wait to kind of see how this is the first time. And if it needs a bit of tweaking, which I'm probably sure it don't, you know, um, we'll see how we go. This is the final part of the Munson's Burr or Bure Gold, however you want to pronounce it. And I've got to admit, this isn't my first bottle, as with any of the Munson's kits. It's had a, a sample way before I've come to review it. Um, some of it was drunk quite early, just I can never keep my hands off it when there's a new beer to be tasted. But I'm going to do a proper review. And as you'll see on the video, I didn't really, if I put it in the video, I didn't really do filming of the making of the beer. I took a few still shots of it, which I was going to put on my blog. I might put them in the video. Purely because the kits are so simple to make, I feel that people don't really need to see how easy it is to make it. It is really a simple case of heating up two tins of malt extract into some warm water, pouring them into a sterilised fermenter with some hot water, topping up with cold, adding the yeast, and that is it. Um, you ferment it out for, I did mine for at least nine ten days um, then added the dry hop I left the dry hop in there for quite a long time they don't recommend to leave it in there that long they don't say not to but they don't say I mean I have mine in there quite a lengthy period of time and I would say as a result I've probably got a fair bit of chill hazing I've seen other people that have reviewed this and theirs was a lot clearer but I'm not fussed I love the inclusion of the extra dry hops you get some Amarillo and Citra I think it was I love that um, but once again, you know, let me dive in and I'll tell you what I think. It's very refreshing, I've got to admit. And once again, and I'm not just saying it, I have been sent a kit to review, I won't lie. But there's something about the Muntins kits, they're, they're really, not to say they ever had bad beer kits, but for me they've really upped the game. There's something going on with beer kits now, especially for the Muntins range particularly, that's the ones I've been doing the most. 
there's, there's, you know, I love the inclusion of the hops. We've we've said before in our videos that the the dry hopping can hide a multitude of sins, but I genuinely feel that they're doing something with the malt extracts. I might be wrong. I could be talking, you know, but they, it just tastes better. The, the beer tastes better. I don't ever get that homebrew twang anymore. There's kind of no sense of like an off flavour or anything, but you get a really good beer for very little time needed. Um, to the point that some days it makes me think, you know. I love brewing the way I do, you know, with the grains and everything. But when you can produce beer this tasty and that quick, you know, in such little time, you know, I I challenge all grain brewers that brew champion beers and that to try a couple of these kits because I bet a lot of them kind of think that they're just, you know, it's almost like the holy grail when you brew all grain beer. But if you're producing great beer like this, I, I challenge a lot of people to drink this and not know that it's come from a beer kit, especially people that have brewed beer kits years and years ago they wouldn't believe the quality of the beer you can get i have to say it's it's refreshing i can't remember the exact percentage i think it's around four or three point eight or something like that i forget but i'll put it down in the comments so it's a nice light summer beer it's great tasting i definitely get a little bit more citrus off that dry hop maybe because i left it in a quite a lengthy period of time and i thought well, it's not a whole heap of hops you get either um yeah, I didn't brew the, the beer any shorter like I've done years ago to kind of, you know, increase the ABV and give it more body. I think the body's fantastic. Um, I haven't overly carbonated mine. I was going to put some in a um, the pin, but when the weather got crazy hot, I thought that's it. It's, it's all got to go in bottles and it's, it's done well. To be fair, I say it's done well. There's probably only about seven bottles left. That's how quick it's gone. But it's fantastic. It's, and I'm not saying this because I've been sent it. It's, and maybe I just produce some poor beers, but it's tasted. It is tasting better than some of the, the the beers I've spent much more time brewing. I just, I think it's amazing. I think it's a, a real achievement um, that kits have come this far. Muntons really are on on top of the game. I think for me, this is probably. I'd say it's better than a Werry because a Werry I brewed years ago, and that's probably you know not quite as up to doing what I do now and it's probably second to the to the Kutch, the the um tiny rebel beer that is just out of this world that's the that's the holy grail of beer kits for me but this is a, a real second close I could drink that all day all day long I'm not lying fantastic I can't I can't fault it, it is I've got to give it a 10 out of 10 for a beer kit it's really easy really sessionable What's not to love, you know? Maybe, maybe, maybe there's not a bad Muntins kit out there. Maybe they're all Stella Artists because, I, I, like I say, you know, it's only a very small amount of hops. I think the yeast must have changed as well. I think they must be including a, a better yeast. I mean, time gone by, people used to swap the yeast out for a, you know, the USO five or you know another yeast or American ale or British ale, depending on what they were doing. But it seems to me now you only get. I think I think it's a slightly bigger pack as well now, but. Fantastic. I just really can't knock it. I mean, I guess the only thing you could say is wrong, and it could be down to me leaving the dry up in there too long, it's a little bit hazy. Um, you don't get the mesh bag with the kit, the little one, but I've saved mine from previous kits. Um, and I would just suggest getting a bit of a, like a, you could use an old pair of tights if you wanted to, a muslin, anything like that, just to strain out those last bits of dry hops and that. Um, because it will sort of all kind of sit at the bottom. But other than that, the clarity, I guess you could say, isn't as good. I mean, other people's I've seen reviewed it, theirs is good, but, you know, clarity is not everything. It's all in the taste, I think. Mm. That's Stella. I think it's fantastic. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. I can't wait to brew the next Muntins kit because they're just, they're getting better and better. To the point, I think, you know, I could just... Why do I have all the equipment that I have when all I need is a bucket and two tins, a packet of yeast? That's it. I could I could revert back. I might go back to the roots and just stick to beer kits. Anyway, I've rambled long enough. So it's in the Burr Gold or Bure Gold, however you want to say it from Munson's. Absolutely fantastic. Um, if you like the Werry and you fancy a kind of a summery beer, if you like beer at all and you want an easy kit, I can't recommend that enough. It's it can't get simpler than adding what you get in the kit to a bucket, wait in a few weeks, and that's it.
fantastic beer. Cheers.